My name is Amar Asares, class schedule TTH 15 to 16, course offering number W058. This video is for the completion of my Fed 13 volleyball midterm output. Good day everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel and for today's video, we will be discussing all about the nature of the game volleyball. Volleyball is a popular sport around the world due to its highly competitive nature and the fact that you do not need a highly expensive equipment to play the game. It was invented by William Morgan way back in 1895 in the United States and it is currently played by more than 200 countries. Now, what exactly is volleyball, its natures, and why are they important? There are numerous versions of competitive volleyball such as men's volleyball, women's volleyball, volleyball leagues, and beach volleyball and many more with varying rules. See the pictures as an example. <laughs> It is important to take note that all of this share a common characteristic. First, all types of volleyball competition are a team sport. As a team sport, they require proper communication and coordination in order to fulfill the objectives and secure the win. Next, each team has a limited number of touches, usually three, on the ball before it hit over the opponent's court. The usual pattern of the touches start off with a dig or an underarm pass, then a set or an overhead pass, and lastly, a spike or an overhead shot. Lastly, the objective of each team is to win in a rally in order to gain a point over and over again until such a time that they are ahead against the opposing team and win all the sets allotted. Regardless of the version played, these rules are the same. Again, again, the very objective of the game is to be able to hit the ball over the opponent's side of the court in order to score in a rally and gather those points during the game. To further explain the game's nature, volleyball involves high concentration of the players and their surroundings. This puts emphasis that since the court is a very congested area, it is a must to consider the position of each teammate in order to avoid mistakes such as hitting each other either by hand or by the ball which could lead to a fatal injury. Provide a good flow in the game by effectively attacking and defending and be able to improve the teamwork amongst them. Volleyball rules of offense and defense are reversed. To put into logic, the offensive players in the team fervently prevent the opposing team from scoring and have the mission to possess the ball whilst the defensive lane has the job of setting and attempting scoring points. Unfortunately, most players have the tendency to have difficulty in this area since aggressive offense tends to lead to mistakes which lead to losing points. Whereas conservative defense tend to produce less success due to less attempts and effort put into scoring. It is integral that the team members must inculcate in their minds the importance of being able to balance the rules of reversal. Another nature that volleyball has is that it offers little positive feedback. This positive feedback is much needed by the morale of each player. And it is rather difficult to acquire considering there is a barely time or interval in garnering this. To put it simply, it is a must to put emphasis on being able to score and to effectively block the opponent's attack in order to keep high spirits, which is one of the elements desperately needed in order to win all of the sets. In essence, it is important to incorporate these different elements in each gameplay in order to secure a win for the team and in order to bring out the best in each player, not only as a volleyball player but as an athlete and a team player as well.
thank you that's all for today and now we will do the following basic skills Here are some basic skills in volleyball. Health benefits of playing volleyball, first, it increases strength, increases agility, increases aerobic endurance and flexibility, and lastly, increases reaction time.